Oppo isn't a brand that's often heard of in the US smartphone market, but it has set foot in Europe since 2018, and that was with the Find X, which surprised us all with its super minimalistic appearance thanks to its pop-up cameras. So naturally, we have very high expectations for its 5G successor, the Find X2 Pro, which may turn out to be a nice alternative to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, the first thing you notice about the Find X2 Pro is that it has a somewhat more common appearance than the Find X. You see that there are no pop-up cameras here. Instead, you get all three rear cameras lined up on the back, just like most phones these days. Likewise, the front camera is just a punch hole on the screen. The Find X2 Pro comes in black ceramic or this orange vegan leather in this gold frame. If you ask me though, I'm a bigger fan of this more masculine ceramic edition, which is etched with these fine curvy lines that reflect with a what I'd call a dynamic wave pattern when you tilt it under the light. Uh, this gives it a more unique and premium look. The downside though is that this glossy surface does become a fingerprint magnet, which you can see here. The leather edition here weighs exactly 200 grams, whereas the ceramic edition adds an extra seven grams. So that's not much of a difference really. And this places them exactly between the Galaxy S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra, or the iPhone 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max if you want. For me, this feels just right because I think you need that little bit of extra weight to give it a premium feel. And at the same time, it's not too heavy either. Now, the reason why I brought up the Samsung S20 Ultra right at the beginning is because, well, on paper, the Find X2 Pro is basically its brother from another mother. We're looking at the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset with the same 5G modem. Here we have 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, which is super fast. There's 512 gigabytes of storage, stereo speakers, and in-display fingerprint reader. Speaking of which, both devices pack the bright and gorgeous Quad HD Plus AMOLED screen, which happens to be running at 120 hertz. That's very impressive. And in fact, these two are the only devices that currently have such a powerful combination in terms of display. Having said that, the Oppo has a 6.7 inch panel, which is 0.2 inches smaller than the Samsung. But at the same time, that's not really a deal breaker. Oppo is taking full advantage of this 120 Hz display with its revamped Color OS, which is now a more lightweight ROM based on Android 10. And I'm liking it so far. The interface looks much cleaner and everything feels silky smooth. So much that it kind of reminds me of the recent OnePlus phones, which isn't a bad thing at all. After all, Oppo and OnePlus do share development and manufacturing resources anyway. Another common feature between the Find X2 Pro and the S20 Ultra is the Periscope telephoto camera, both of which offer a hybrid zoom of up to 10 times. However, the Find X2 Pro has a totally different set of sensors. Here we have a 48 megapixel main camera, which is powered by a brand new Sony sensor with a much more powerful face detection autofocus than before. It also does 12-bit raw capture for greater color depth. Then there's the 30 megapixel telephoto camera for anything at five times zoom and beyond. If you really want to, you can push all the way to 60 times zoom, but you're not gonna get anything that's Instagram worthy. Going in the opposite direction, there's a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, which also takes macro shots at down to three centimeters, as well as filming ultra steady videos. And by the way, there's no 8K video recording here, just up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Last but not least, there's a 32 megapixel selfie camera which is punched into the top left corner of the screen. Here you get the usual beautification options as well as screen flash and gesture control. Sadly, the Find X2 Pro's final firmware wasn't ready for this hands-on video, so we'll save our comparison tests for later on. What truly makes the Find X2 Pro stand out from the crowd is its 65 watt Super VOOC 2.0 fast charge, which takes just 38 minutes to juice up that 4,260 milliamp hour battery. And the beauty of VOOC technology is that even at 65 watts, the phone doesn't actually heat up that much while charging. So it's totally safe to keep using the phone while plugged in. So that's the Find X2 Pro, and yes, there's also a regular Find X2, which will be slightly cheaper, but with the trade-offs mainly in the camera department, especially with the lack of a periscope camera, as well as storage, haptic feedback, 
waterproof rating and color options. Now, I hate to be a party pooper, but Oppo has confirmed that there are currently no plans to bring the Find X2 series to the US. So you're gonna have to rely on your usual smartphone specialists. Having said that, these phones will be making their way to Europe and hey, maybe even Mexico, which is where Oppo will be making its Latin America debut later this year. We uh, didn't get the prices in time for this video, but they should be in our article by the time this video goes live. So please go check it out. For more coverage on exotic smartphones like the Find X2 Pro, do subscribe to Engadget.